This is 54. Folks, I understand that the packets look like something that you already got, and that's okay. Primarily because we're going to roll all of that individual information into one so that the precinct chair reports it. So everybody can feel like they're participating. But we only need one set of information back. 109. 111, 113, 115, 121.
this photo. So if there are four people here today, you will give them the information for four photos. We're going to put that into this spreadsheet, and I'll show you, once we get started, how it, it gets the weight to the votes properly. You don't have to do the math. There is no math. Okay? <laughs> we will do the math. Or in the clarification, please. We don't have to write anything else, the procedures, we just go and report my voice. Is that correct? You write it down. That's why we just gave you these depth, these master packets. Each which, precinct. For, which form will you use to write it down? Please, we just claim. The ballot that we just gave you. Each precinct just received a new set of ballots. That ballot. Do we write the names of each letter there? Okay, everyone should have received both the, both the individual delegates and the precinct chair should have received this ballot pack. On round one, Mecklenburg County Democratic Party chair, round one is what we're on right now. So this is the ballot that everyone needs to fill out. It is white. Now, individual delegates, you can use this ballot to transmit your vote to your precinct chair if you want. It is not required. The only requirement is that the ballot pack we just gave out to the precinct chairs, that the information is written for your whole precinct on this ballot and handed to the vote teller. So, the precinct chair has to write down the vote tally for your delegation and hand it in. <laughs> Questions? <laughs> All right, 212, 213, 214, 215, 217, 222, 227, 228, 229. 232, 233, 235, 237, 239, 240, 241, <laughs> So if the precinct now votes within the precinct for four people for one person, so on and so forth, the precinct chair is supposed to use this piece of paper, right? Candidate one votes five, candidate two votes three, candidate three votes, and so on and so forth. Yes. Uh, thank you. All right, folks, you should be caucusing and voting at this time. And the precinct chairs get in position to, to tally the votes for the precinct based upon the information that you're getting from the delegates at this time. In short order, I will call for the vote. In short order, I will call for the vote. This is, listen up folks, I understand that this is a, a tedious process, but we are following the plan of organization, which in my opinion needs to be amended to make it more effective for Bank of America. So whoever the new chair is, or the SEC delegates who are elected uh, from a county, we need to, we need to help make that recommendation because this right now folks is beginning to feel a little bit uncomfortable. Alright, are we winding down? 
Now I need you to hang in there with us because we need to collect these votes here in short order so that we can get the tabulation going. Precinct 37, 59, 137, 209, and 205. Do you have your ballots? 37, 59, 137, 209, and 205. Do you have your ballots? I'm assuming you do. Does anybody need any more time? I got one yes. Do not turn anything in. Hold on to it, please. We will call for the vote. We will tell you what to do with it. We just need for you to collect the information from your person. Just sit tight. I'm trying to move through this as quick as I can. Anyone who is missing, uh, missing ballots, like everyone, so like some having some of the envelopes, or missing envelope or a packet or two. If you're missing ballots, please come on down. We've got some extras, and we'll go ahead and get you taken care of before we get started. All right, folks, I got some more instructions coming up to you in short order. I need for you to be in position to bring forth your ballot. And we will do that here in short order. I will call out the precinct again to make sure that it gets turned in and we will get it into the system and move throughout this process. Yes, ma'am. For what purpose is Julie Reynolds? Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Monica Talbot, and I'm the, I'm the National Committee Young Democrats in North Carolina, and I'm very glad to be in Mecklenburg County today. I read the news on behalf of Matt Cole and all the new Democrats in Wake County, but I would like to say this one thing to you, Mr. Chair. You all keep having to repeat instructions over and over and over again, and I'd just like to make a point of personal privilege that if people have to have side conversations, it would probably be a lot easier for people to hear instruction if they took a side conversation either to the back, to the side, or Thank you, ma'am. For what purpose is the gentleman My name is Clarence Vic Wilson, and I want to call a clarification on what the gentleman just said about being extra ballots. Folks that keep me from coming up here saying I didn't get a ballot when I did in my packet, and I can go back and do another ballot. Very good question. We have an official count that we checked off before when I called all of when I called out all of the names for the precincts. We checked them off before we gave them out. We're not going to duplicate that process. We won't give out no more when we have registered. This is an official list of those individuals who came in. And Joel, if you do the tally from the spreadsheet that they'll see on the screen, will immediately display an error if more ballots are presented than should be. The other check and balance is when we turn in those votes, it will be tallied on the screen. And there's no way that you can provide more votes than what you are allowed. So there is a check and there's another balance. Are you no. <laughs> it's exactly kind of All right. <laughs> All right. At this time, at this time, I will call for the votes. And I will call for the precinct. When I call your precinct, you will turn in your vote to the gentleman here in the nice blue shirt. What's your name? Did you, did you Jackson. see what down? Oh my God. Jackson, you will turn in your vote, and he will make the announcement of the vote, and the vote will be keyed in. Are you ready for the vote? Precinct 2. That's why I need you at the end of your rows, precinct two.
Precinct 3. I need you to turn in your boat to the gentleman here. Precinct 4. I'm sorry, he's got an announcement. That's wrong. But you want to do the rest of those ballots. You only turn in the white copy. Don't turn it all over. Just the white copy. Is that a hot mic? Precinct 2. Aisha Du, Frank B. Aisha Du. How many for Aisha and how many for Frank? Precinct 2. Two for Aisha Du, one for Frank B. Thank you. No, hold, we hold on to Precinct three. Precinct three. Four votes, Darren Rankin. Three votes, Darren Rankin. No, I'm sorry. Four votes, Darren Rankin. What do you mean? We only need for the precinct chair to turn in one ballot. I don't, we don't need all of the ballots. We just need one ballot for the precinct. The precinct chair is reporting the vote total for the precinct. We gave you the ballots so everybody can participate in the process. I know it's tedious, but we only need one ballot. Precinct number two. Precinct number six. Precinct six. Three votes I used to do, one vote Frank B. Precinct nine. Precinct four. Six votes D. Four votes, Solomon. I'm sorry, repeat that. Repeat that. Precinct number four. Six votes, D. Four votes, Solomon. Precinct number nine. One vote, do. One vote, D. Three votes, Solomon. Precinct 10. Followed by Precinct 11 and Precinct 12. Precinct 10. One vote do, one vote sold. Precinct 11. 13 votes deep, two votes do. I'm sorry, repeat that, please. That was Precinct 11, 13 votes deep, 2 votes due. Precinct 12, 7 votes due. Precinct 12, Precinct 13, Precinct 14. Precinct 13, three votes, Sullivan. Precinct 14, three votes, Sullivan. One vote, do. One vote, Freeland. Precinct 15, 16, 17.
Precinct 15, six votes, Sullivan. Precinct 16, eight votes, due, three votes, Sullivan, two votes, Deaton, two votes, Freeland. Repeat that slowly, please. Precinct 16, eight votes, due, three votes, Sullivan, two votes, Deaton, two votes, Freeland. Precinct 17, 18, and 20. 17, 18, and 20. Precinct 26, one vote granted. Precinct 25, eight votes D, two votes do, one vote Freeland. Precinct 23, one vote due, two votes ranking. Precinct 31, 32, 33, 35. Folks, you are experiencing trans. Parents. <laughs> Precinct 31. Ten votes due. Precinct 32. Three votes Sullivan. One vote Friedland. Yes. Can you repeat the last ballot and, and vote count? Precinct 32, three votes Sullivan, one vote Friedland. Precinct 33, one vote Friedman, one vote Dew. Precinct 35, 36, 37, 
For, for what purposes is doing the rides? Uh, point of clarification. Precinct uh, 32, they called that on the one day. Three votes for, I believe, on some of the one of the four. Three votes. For somebody else, and it says they only have three votes. Is that correct? They had six delegates. You can elect up to twice as many delegates as you have votes, if that's your question. What's your question? I want to make sure that if, if it's saying we have three votes for the convention, how are, how are they able to cast more votes than point five than the votes per the delegate. votes will be weighted and they will be split up. They won't get they won't get a full one vote. They will get a fraction of that vote based on the number of people that they elect. So don't be afraid if you hear more delegates than you do votes. Up to two times the number of Yes, sir, go ahead. One second here. For example, I'm going to show you on the vote tally sheet how that exact situation works. For that, I understand you can't see it right now. I'm getting ready to show you. Um, in that situation where someone just had four delegates, but they only had three votes in the convention speech. Okay, basically those four people will only count for three votes in the actual election total. Each delegate for that precinct only counts for 0.75 votes in the total. Okay, so you can actually cast more delegate votes than you get convention votes, but the spreadsheet takes care of that. So each one of those is not worth a full vote. Cool. Please proceed. Precinct 35, one vote beaten, one vote due. Precinct 36, one vote ranking, two votes Sullivan. Precinct 39, one vote Friedland. For what purpose is Zoom arise? Standpoint of information. Yes, sir. If a precinct has two delegates here with 15 votes allocated properly, and only one of those delegates votes, is, is that a vote that would be weighted at 15? Or is it so a percentage registered here when you don't vote? Yes. You will get the full strength of that one vote based upon your allocations. Precinct 42, 43, 44. Did we get 37? Yeah, we gave 37. All right, we need 37. What you just said was it didn't matter whether we registered as delegates or not. Only one person needed to register in the precinct. No, and I'm following the plan. Take <laughs> that up at the state Democratic Party. We are following the plan, and I'm trying not to be short with you, but we answered these same questions over and over and over again. State your point, and let's move on. Okay. Thank you very much. For what purpose does the gentleman rise? Sorry, there was one point of clarification, but I was on the precinct court seven. In the case of the gentleman just uh, mentioned, it sounded like he was saying he's got two delegates. One delegate is abstaining, and the other delegate is voting. And he said, for the vote, for the abstention, there are no abstentions. 
please proceed. Precinct 42, one vote granted. Precinct 43, two votes granted, one vote due. Precinct 44, four votes solved. Precincts 44, 46, 47, and 51. Precinct 46, one vote, Deaton. Precinct 47, one vote, Deaton, one vote, Do, one vote, Franklin. Precinct 51, one vote, do, one vote, ranking, one vote, Sullivan, two votes, Deaton. Precinct 52, two votes, Deaton. Precinct 53, 54, 55, 57. Precinct 53, six votes, Freeland. Precinct 57, two votes due, two votes Freeland. Precinct 60, four votes Sullivan, one vote due. Precinct 54, five votes Deaton, one vote Sullivan, one vote due. Precinct 58, two votes Freeland, one vote due. Precinct 59, two votes due. Precinct 55, one vote Freeland, two votes due, three votes deep. Precinct 60, 61, 62, 66. 60, 61, 62, 66. We already got 60, 61, 62, 66, 69. Please get in line. 69, please get in line. Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Precinct 61. Three votes deep. Precinct 62, one vote, Deaton. Precinct 66, one vote, Deaton. Precinct 69, two votes, Deaton. One vote, Sullivan, one vote, Freeland. All right, folks, I want you to work with me here a little bit. Listen up. Precincts 70, 71, 73, 76, 77, 80, 81, 82, 83, 83, 83 89, 90, 91, 93, 96, and 98. Line up right here. Line up right here. Over on my left hand side, your right, starting with 100, 102. 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, and 111. My left, your right. 
Did you catch all of that? Settle down so we can go ahead and get these counted and go ahead and get the, get the counts announced. Precinct 102, one vote beaten, one vote freely. Precinct 103, two votes Sullivan, two votes do. Precinct 104, two votes freely. Precinct 105, four votes do, one vote ranking, one, one vote solid. Once again, Precinct 105, four votes do, one vote ranking, one vote solid. Precinct 106, three votes beaten.
Listen up while I got a quick break. Listen up. To my right, your left, precinct 113, 115, 121, 123, 124, 125, 126. My right, your left. Please proceed. Precinct 109, three votes deep. Precinct 111, five votes, Sullivan. One second. My left, your right, 127, 128, 130, 133, 134, 135, 137. Please proceed. Precinct 113, five votes Sullivan, one vote Cleveland. Precinct 115, one vote due, four votes Rankin. That's 115, one due, Rankin. Precinct 123. Two votes do. Precinct one twenty four, one vote ranking. Precinct one twenty one, two votes do. Precinct 125, six votes due. Precinct 126, five votes due. Precinct 128, one vote free Five votes deepened. Precinct 127. One vote Freeman. One vote do. Five votes deepened. That's 127. Correction. Precinct 127. One vote Freeman. Two votes do. Five votes deep. Precinct 130. One vote, Sullivan. Precinct 133. One vote, Rankin. Precinct 134. Three votes, do. One vote, Rankin. One vote, Sullivan. Precinct 135. Five votes, Rankin. Two votes, do. One vote, Deaton. All right, folks, let's go. We're going to go through this. To my right, your left, 135, 137, 138, 140, 141, 145, 146, 147. My right, your left. On my left, your right, 149, 150, 201, 202, 203, 204, 205. My left, your right. Please proceed. Precinct 
precinct 138, four votes due. Precinct 140, four votes deep. One vote due, one vote Sullivan. Precinct 145, five votes deep. Two votes Sullivan, one vote due. Precinct 147, one vote Friedman, one vote Rankin. Precinct 141, one vote Deaton. Precinct 149, five votes Friedman, three votes due. Precinct 150, Five votes Sullivan, two votes due. Precinct 201, three votes due. Precinct 202, five votes due, one vote Sullivan. Precinct 203, 19 votes Sullivan. Precinct 204, one vote deep, three votes due. Three votes ranking. I'm sorry. All right, folks, we're ready to wrap this thing up. It's going to close on my right, your left, 206, 209, 210, 211, 212, 213. My right, your left. My left, your right. Can we reread precinct 37? 137. Precinct 137. We need to reread on 137. All right. My left, your right. Never mind. 213, 214, 215, 217, 222, 227, 228. I will after the voting for anyone who has remaining questions. Can you, can you We're going to post the spreadsheet on the I will do a demo. Demo. I'm shouting. Oh, okay. Because I'm We've got demonstrations for people who want to see it after the election. All right. Please proceed, sir. Precinct 206. Four votes due. That was 206? Yes. Precinct 206. Four votes due. Precinct 210. Ten votes, Friedland. Two votes, Sullivan. One vote, Deaton. Precinct 211, three votes due, one vote Rankin. Precinct 212, three votes due, ten votes Rankin. Precinct 214, five votes Rankin. Two votes due, one vote Deaton, one vote Friedman. Precinct 213, one vote due, four votes Deaton.
Precinct 215, one vote, do. Two votes, Sullivan. I'm sorry, could you say, did you, Ralph, what do you have for 214? Again, precinct 214 was five votes, Franken, two votes, do, one vote, D, one vote, free. I apologies, and I thank you, and can you repeat then, um, 215, I'm sorry. Again, precinct 215, one vote, do, two votes, Sullivan. Precinct 217, three votes, do. Precinct 222, one vote, do. Two twenty seven. Precinct two twenty seven. Three votes, Friedland. All right, folks, this should do it. My right, your left, two twenty eight. 229, 2, 232, 233, 235, 237, 239, 240, 241, 243. All of the remaining precincts have not voted. My right, your left. Please proceed. Precinct 228, four votes Sullivan, one vote due. Precinct 229, six votes, do. Precinct 235, three votes, do. Precinct 232, four votes, deep. Precinct 239, one vote, Rankin, two votes, Sullivan. Precinct 233, two votes, Friedland. Precinct 240, three votes, due, two votes, Sullivan. One vote, Rankin. Repeat, please. Again, Precinct 240. Three votes, do. Two votes, Sullivan. One vote, Rankin. Thank you. Precinct 237. One vote, D. Precinct 241. One vote, Sullivan. Precinct 243. One vote, D. One vote, do. Folks, I do believe that that is it. While we're doing that, one of my next to last official acts as your chair, I need your attention and I need your due diligence on this issue. Uh, this is this is rather serious. We lost a silver digital camera. Precinct Chair 111. 
Wow. Isn't that awesome? She found it. Here's the chair 111. We got it. Where'd you, where'd you put it? You took it home? You took it to the pawn shop? How did you do that? Ma'am, she's right over here. Thank you very much. Security guard in the back. Hey, let's give it up to our security guard here. Who's, who's been up here. We got a lost blue stone and silver bracelet. If found, please return to Nelda Leon. Nelda, raise your hand. We lost a, a blue and Blue stone and silver bracelet, please. Uh, we can help return that to the rap owner as well. Do we have any former elected officials here? Any former elected officials we'd like to recognize? Judge Tim Smith. Do we have any other elected officials that we need to recognize? Any other former elected officials? Who? Who is that? Lord Cheer, former county commissioners. <laughs> Judge Edie Williams is in the back. Judge, thank you for coming out. She's going to need our help in, in 2012. Do in mind or admit it, anybody else who has not been recognized. We want to make sure that we give you all the love. Do we need to spread any more love? School board. Who? Sam Reed, school board. Thank you, sir. Daryl Williams. Daryl Williams, former county commissioner. Thank you, Daryl. Want to recognize the uh, county party's attorney, fill in for the county party chair on uh, WCNC 36 as well as WBT, the one and only Mike Daisley. All right, guys, I'm running out of commentary here. I want to recognize also, too, another uh, very important uh, political action group in our community. Right from the caucus chair was here, Dr. Gloria River. She's still here. Dr. Gloria, uh, Dr. Gloria River, we want to thank you for coming out and participating on today. Right here the caucus Sunday. Very important announcement. Um, stop the photo ID. Respect our vote is Wednesday, April the 13th, 2011. Uh, at, 11, at, at 11 a.m., North Carolina General Assembly Building, uh, 16 West Jones Street in Raleigh. Give a day for democracy and gather with us in front of the North Carolina General Assembly at 11 a.m. for a rally, lobbying state legislators and telling the media outside of the story. Folks, this is important because it's going to affect two very important populations. You know, regardless of the fact whether you're a Democrat,
Democrat or Republican, most seniors um, may not have ID, and a lot of young people may not have ID. And I had stated before, I think you have a better chance of finding someone who's been struck by lightning than you would someone who has committed voter fraud in the state of North Carolina. This is yet another example of the Republicans in Raleigh doing something else other than creating jobs for North Carolina. <laughs> this is a distraction and this is a tactic that they use to get us off of the main things, which is economic development, job growth, job growth and job creation. So if you have time, please go out and, and show your support to stop this particular bill, which is not needed at this time in the state of North Carolina, because we need our seniors and we need our young people to vote. There's plenty of data to suggest that this is not going to work, and more important than that, it's going to cost us more money to implement it. Chairman Ford just stated, um, I'm chair of Democracy North Carolina and we're sponsoring buses uh, up to early on Wednesday. So you can see myself or Dr. Robbie there in the back and uh, we'll get you the information on that. As you can see, we have the first round uh, results of the election. Uh, in first place, Garnering 296 of the available convention votes, which is a total of 30.75 of the available votes, as Aisha do. <laughs> Second place with 219, 22.79% of votes, Frank Deaton. Third place with 16% of the vote was Darren Rangan. Fourth place was Michael Sullivan. And fifth place with 15% of the vote was Mark Friedman. So, before we clap and congratulate everyone, let me just really quickly go through this. Robert's Rules of Order, and nothing in the POO tells us to do any different, says that we cannot remove people from the ballot for the second round. Everyone who is on the ballot will remain on the ballot and can be voted for from round two. It is up to the caucuses and the people who are voting to decide who they want to give their support to. So, now have three minutes to caucus amongst yourselves. Please, we will answer questions if you have written to the Folks, 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 uh, we're looking here, and I need to seriously take this into consideration so that we can move forward with this process. We're looking for 50 plus one, 50 plus one. I need for you to call this together. Um, I'm not gonna tell you, if you can, just what to do, but, a candidate can make a decision if they want to do something different. But I need you to talk this again, go through the process again, take a look at the votes, give us your votes. What I would like to do is to, after the five minutes of you caucusing, get, get the pre together so that we can get these totals um, up out and a little quicker this time. We've done this exercise before. For what purpose does the gentleman lady rise? Gentleman lady rise. In this room. Order, order, order. Excuse me. In this room, my husband's name, Representative William P. Cunningham, was failed to be lifted. He served this state for 21 years, and he served the people of this county well. He passed away in December. I intend to run for first vice chair of the Mecklenburg County Democratic Party. Today, however, I made my way here. At 4 o'clock this morning, my daughter, I was making her bouquet. So I would have to leave you and return to the site of her wedding at 3 o'clock. But I thank you because I came to do the people's work in the name of my husband. Thank you very much, Carla. Um, as, as chair, until I am removed, I must apologize to the body for not recognizing the late representative Pete Cunningham, who served Mecklenburg County in this state with diligence and distinction. And please accept my apologies to the Cunningham family for failure to recognize as such. For what purpose does a gentleman rise? 
His name is Mike Sullivan. Excuse me. I need your attention, please. We got a candidate who wishes to make a statement. The floor is yours. My name is Mike Sullivan, and I'm with Precinct 15 and a candidate the chair of the Mecklenburg County Democratic Party. Um, for the last couple of months, I've had an opportunity to go around and meet with Mark's folks and have a great understanding of, uh, of the needs of this county. And I appreciate each and every one of you sharing with me your beliefs, which you think needs to be addressed and allowing me to, uh, to run to be your chair here today. And I certainly appreciate that. It is a great honor. I've been around for 20 years. I've had some folks ask, well, if you don't win, um, where are you going to go? Well, I'm not going anywhere. Um, I've got to lose it. Excuse me, Mike. For what purpose do you rise? I, I, I rise for the purpose of asking for my name to be withdrawn for consideration of the chair of the Ecuador County Party to ask my supporters to support uh, Frank Dean. All right. Mike Sullivan has asked his name to be withdrawn, and he has asked for his support to go to Frank Dean. For what purpose does the gentleman rise? Only the secretary treasurer of Precinct 16. I rise for four. Yes, sir. I have, have short-term memory loss. I'm sorry. I'm That's scared. all right. Precinct 57. Okay, this is my chairman, Frank, and his wife. Um, I rise for a point of order. Please state your point of order. Would it be in order to make a motion to ask that the clerk cast one unanimous one unanimous vote for Aisha Du? As the chairperson? Not at this time. That not motion, that, that point, that is out of order. We have a process that we have to go through. I thank you for trying to expedite the process. If you will just give me the chance and just a little bit more patience. I got another uh, way of, of doing this, but I'm going to need your attention. Our five minutes is up. Unless we have some more comments from the floor, I'm going to proceed forward with the vote. For what purpose does the gentleman rise? Chairman Ford, I'd like to, this is Mark Freeland, uh, I'd like to ask and request that my name be withdrawn from the uh, election for chair. Uh, Thank you. We have another candidate, Mark Freeland, who has asked that his name be removed from the ballot, in addition to Mike Sullivan. So right now, we have Frank Deaton, Daryl Rankin, and I should do are the three remaining candidates for chair. Please continue your caucus, and in short order, you, we will be voting again, and the vote ballot looks like green. Green is the, sorry, yellow. Yellow. Yellow is the next ballot. Yellow is the next ballot. Gold is the next ballot. Gold. Gold. All right, listen up, folks. We got three candidates. We're going to move through this process a little bit quicker this time. I'm going to ask that are all hearts and minds clear with the caucus? Have your votes been tabulated? All of my odd number precincts line up on the left. All of my even number precincts line up on my right, your left. My right, your left, even number precincts. My left, your right, odd number precincts. You can get yourselves into order, starting with the smallest precinct. Go forward, all you have to do is just ask your neighbor what number they are. Starting with precinct number two, ending with 243. Odd on my right, your left, even on my left, your right. Line them up front and against the wall. We can get through this. We can get through this. But it's going to take us going together. I'm 
sorry. I, I gave you those instructions. Even on the right, my left. I'm sorry, my right, your left. Even, that's what it is. Even is on my right, your left. Odd is on. Odd is on my left, your right. Even. Even's on this side, odd's on this side. For what purpose does the gentle lady rise to get your attention, please? All right, folks, hopefully you got yourself in line in the order. So I'm, I'm, this is what's going to happen. I am not going to call out your name. You're just going to walk up. And we're going to start with the um, even, even, then odd. We're going to alternate. And I uh, want to thank the uh, top of me family for hanging in there with us. Hopefully the uh, baby doesn't get turned off the baby never turned off. Jeff Jackson, can you get the front please? Jeff Jackson. Mr. Jeff. Mr. Jeff.
Precinct 2. Two votes due, one vote deeded. Precinct 3. Four votes ranking. Precinct 6. Two votes due, two votes deeded. Precinct 10, two votes due. Precinct 11, 12 votes deeded, three votes due. Precinct 14, four votes deeded, one vote due. Precinct 13, three votes deeded. Precinct 16, 11 votes due, Two votes deaten. Precinct 15. Three votes deaten. Three votes due. Precinct 20. Two votes deaten. Precinct 17. Full strength due. Or one vote due. Precinct 4. Ten votes deaten. Precinct 9, 3 votes due, 1 vote deaten. Precinct 26, 1 vote ranking. Slow down, Sam, sorry. Slow down. 26. Give me one second, please. 26. Precinct 26, 1 vote ranking. Thank you. Precinct 23, 1 vote due, 2 votes ranking. Precinct 26. 23, one, two, one vote due, two votes ranking. Precinct 25, nine votes detailed, two votes due. Precinct 32, three votes detailed. Precinct 33, four votes due. Precinct 35, two votes deaten. Precinct 36, one vote due, one vote ranking, one vote deaten. <laughs> Precinct 43, one vote due, two votes ranking. Precinct 31, five votes due. Precinct 44, three votes deaten. Precinct 46, one vote deaten. Precinct 52, two votes deaten. Precinct 39, one vote deaten. Precinct 58, three votes due. That was 58, 58? Yes. Precinct 58, three votes due. Precinct 47, two votes due, one vote deaten. Precinct 42, one vote ranking. Precinct 51, one vote due, four votes deaten. Precinct 53, six votes due. Precinct 55, two votes due, two votes deaten. Precinct 60, five votes due. Precinct 57, four votes due. Precinct 59, two votes due. Precinct 61, three votes deaten. 
Precinct 70. One vote, Deaton. Precinct 71. Two votes, due. One vote, Deaton. Precinct 69. Four votes, Deaton. Precinct 62. One vote, Deaton. Precinct 73. Two votes, Deaton. One vote, due. Precinct 66. One vote, Deaton. Precinct 77. Six votes, due. One vote, Rankin. One second. Get that man some warning. Are we back? Precinct 76, three votes due. Precinct 81, five votes due. Precinct 80, three votes due, one vote Deaton. Precinct 83, two votes Deaton. Precinct 82, Was that, was it 83? 83 was 2 Deaton. All right, back on track. Precinct 82, three votes due, three votes Deaton. Precinct 84, three votes Deaton. Precinct 89, three votes due. Precinct 91, two votes due. Precinct 90, one vote Deaton, one vote due. Precinct 93, one vote Deaton, two votes due. Precinct 103, two votes due, two votes Deaton. I'm sorry, Sam, sorry. Precinct 103, two votes due, two votes Deaton. Thank you, sir. Precinct 98, one vote due. Precinct 105, five votes due, one vote. Is that a one or two, ma'am? Precinct 105, five votes due, two votes Deaton. Precinct 96, five votes Deaton. 106, five Deaton. 106, five Deaton. Precinct 107, one vote Rankin. Um, we had precinct 107. Did you get 107? That was one vote Rankin. There was 96, five votes Deaton, and then there was 105. 96, not 106. I said 96. Uh, 96. Five votes Deaton, 105, 5, 2, 2 Deaton. Are we done? All right. Precinct 100, 4 Deaton, 1 do. Precinct 102, 2 Deaton. Precinct 104, 2 do. Precinct 54, 6 Deaton. One do. That's precinct five four. Precinct fifty four. One Deaton and one do. Six Deaton, one do. Did you get it? Precinct one oh six. Three Deaton. Precinct one oh eight. Three do. 
precinct 109, 3, Deaton. Precinct 1, 2, 4, 1, Rankin. Ma'am, is that 111? Precinct 111, 5, Deaton. Precinct 126, 5, Dew. Precinct 130, 1, Deaton. Precinct 113, 5, Deaton, 1, Dew. Precinct 113, 5, Deaton, 1, Dew. Precinct, wait, this is also 115. Well, we just said. No, that was 113. That was 113? Okay. Yeah, that, the last one was 113. Got it, great. 115, five votes due. And it gets worse. Precinct 134, four due, one ranking. Four due, one ranking. Four due, one ranking. Precinct 123. One do. Precinct one three eight. One do. Or actually that's four do. Okay. Precinct one three eight. Four do. Precinct one one two seven. Two do. Six deaton. That's one two seven. Two do. Six deaton. Precinct 141, 1, Precinct 147. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 20262. 20262. Precinct 147. 2 do. Precinct 140. 1 vote do. 1 vote deaton. Precinct 145. 145. 4 deaton. 3 do. Precinct 150, 7, do. Precinct 150, 7, do. Precinct 149, 8, do. Precinct 149, 8, do. Precinct 201, 3, do. Precinct 203, 9, how, how many people? 19 people? Okay. Precinct 203, 19 Deaton. Point of personal privilege, this is Precinct 206, home of the great Davidson College. Uh, precinct 206, 4 do. Precinct 211, Precinct 211, 3 do, 1 ranking. Precinct 213, 1 Deaton, 1 do. Precinct 215, Precinct 215, 2 do, 1 Deaton. Precinct 232, 4 Deaton. Precinct 204, Precinct 204, 4, do. Precinct 214, 1, Deaton, 1, do, 6, Rankin. That's Precinct 214, 1, Deaton, 1, do, 6, Rankin.
Precinct 210, 13D. Precinct 12. 12. Give us a second, please. Don't, don't worry, every vote counts. All right, we're ready. Precinct 12. Three do. And back to the 200s, I believe. Oh, can you write your precinct, please? Precinct 229, Precinct 229, two for do. Precinct 228, two do, three d That's Precinct 228, two do, three d Precinct 212, four do, six ranking, one Deaton. That's precinct 212, four do, six ranking, one Deaton. Ladies and gentlemen, our school and water commissioner. Precinct 235, three do. Precinct 235, three do. Precinct 240, three do, two ranking. Precinct 240, three do, two ranking. Precinct 237, one Deaton. Precinct 237, one Deaton. Precinct 239. Precinct 239, one Rankin, one Deaton, one Do. Precinct 239, one Rankin, one Deaton, one Do. Precinct 241, one Deaton. Precinct 241, one Deaton. Precinct 128, we need to skip back to 128. You ready? Awesome. Precinct 128, 6 Deaton. And 135, 135 is next. 135, 3 do, 2 rank it. 135 is 3 do, 2 rank it. And please welcome the youngest member of our Democratic family. Back to 217, we're going back to 217. 217, three votes do. 227, 227. Three votes, Deacon. And are there any outstanding votes? Two forty three. One vote Deaton, one vote due. Two forty three, one vote Deaton, one vote due. Second call. Are there any outstanding votes? Folks, I want to thank you very much for hanging in there for a second round. We will have the results here for you in just a few minutes. I am confident that we will be able to get through the rest of this in short order. So if we could take a three-minute recess.
Mike Daisy. Mike, we need your front, please.
That's where probably moving in a second, but this is a procedure thing. I don't want to confuse it with what we're currently doing now, but I'd like for it to run concurrent with what we're doing now so that you can um, do your SEC votes while you have the people here now, but, we're, but the order, and, and we'll call for it later to be turned in, but you can go ahead and get it done now. But we are on. We still have to take nominations. So the nominations will be done from before. So you can you still know the vote for, but we can also still take nominations. So for what purposes are you doing the run? Chairman Ford, Sam Spencer, Precinct 206. Um, I rise, um, at, at least so we can get this part done. I would like to amend the nominations for the State Executive Committee to remove the name of Sandra Reed Spencer before. And, and then subsequently, I would, uh, if there's a second on that, I'd like to place those names into nominations. That is out of order this time. I can't, we, we can't do anything at this time. Let's, let's go ahead and finish up where we are now. We're on the blue ballot. I need you to talk this up. I need you to call this either chairperson or the person who has been designated to lead that caucus to call this up. And I'll give you two minutes and we'll do this procedure again where we will have the even on the right hand side, odds on my left, your right, and we can get it done. For what purpose does the gentleman run? John Arnold, proceed to my question of the chair. How many members of the Senate Executive Committee are we elected? 60. Male, 60 female. 65? 66. 60. Sixty male, sixty female. No. We have been allocated. Wait, please. We have been allocated sixty-five seats on the state executive committee by the North Carolina Democratic Party. The reason that it says vote for blank on there is that obviously that was not split into an even number. So if a male is elected chair of the party, we will have more female SEC members. Sixty. Three females and 62 males. If, on the other hand, a female is elected chair of the party, we will have more male SEC members. Which is why we can't 33 be males and 32 females. So that is why it says vote for blank right now. Further, the SEC election is a separate election for which we have to take nominations from the floor. So it is completely out of order to entertain any talk of it right now. We need to get through the chair's race, the first vice chair's race, the second vice chair's race, the third vice chair's race, the secretary and the treasurer as the agenda stands. So, please stick with us. All right. For what purpose does the gentleman rise? On clarification point, on yes, and the participant fees precinct 11. Now that we're going through the second or third, 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 third. Uh, if we have delegates that left, the first round, and they turned and gave their ballots to someone else and said, vote for me in the second and third, here are my ballots. Is that uh, legal? Are they in that precinct? They are in that precinct. And they are no longer here. No, no proxy votes. No proxy, proxy votes. Votes. It's waiting votes and no proxy votes. There's no need to do a proxy as long as you have that representation here voting. They will have the full strength of that precinct. All right, folks. Sir, for what purpose do you rise? Mr. Chairman, Herman De Castro, Chair of the Precinct 57 and the Hispanic Democrats, I want to make an announcement. The announcement is out of order this time. I okay. am taking up votes. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. All right, folks. I need you to. For what purpose does Jonah rise? Uh, Mr. Chair. To Excuse me. I need your attention, please. Mr. Chair, I come before you today to remove my name from uh, Mr. Rich for chair of the county party, and I put my support behind Frank Dean. Thank you very much. Darren Rankin is asking that Dean be removed from consideration for chair of the Mecklenburg County Democratic Party. 
We have two candidates for chair now. That is going to be Frank Beaton and Aisha Du. Please talk this up. If you had to vote for uh, Aaron, please reconsider your votes. I need, starting now, I need odd number precincts on the left, your right. I need even number precincts on my right, your left, starting now. Listen, folks, let me again thank you for your time, your attention to something that is extremely important. I need you to hang in there because, folks, we've got a lot of work to do, so thank you for hanging in there. Come on, people, let's, let's get in line. Folks, um, I, uh, just to keep you informed, we will get to your short order. We're ready on the spreadsheets to, to get lined up so that we can go ahead and take this vote again. Uh, I want to thank all of the, the previous candidates who were to be considered, but they do have pledged their support among other candidates. It's, it's my hope that all of us will, will be able to work together for the betterment of our party and for the betterment of our community. That being said, we will get this train started again. For what purposes do you want to make a very quick announcement? Yes, sir. As we're assembling and getting in line to cast our third ballot, just a reminder to folks, just a reminder to folks, it's something you probably don't need to remind you of, but it's good to think about as we're going through this long, arduous process. And it's really just a question. How often does this happen, what we're doing right now in this hot, hot auditorium, testing our patience? How often does this happen in Afghanistan? How often does it happen in Iraq? How often does it happen in Libya? And I make that announcement only as a reminder that as it, as it gets late in the day and patience is tested, to just simply keep that in mind. And I make that as people get in line to make their votes, and I think we're great. But I thought it was a good thing just to mention. Thank you for that perspective, Mike. Come on, did you have an announcement? Well, the tellers get in order. Hey, Herman, don't take all that. You got about 15 seconds, bro. Don't give the mic to a Hispanic politician. See? <laughs> all right, good, good, good afternoon, everybody. I hope you are enjoying this uh, democracy. Uh, what I want to do is I want to tell you that on April the 20th at 6 o'clock, Congressman Luis Gutierrez from Chicago, Illinois, is coming to Charlotte to help with the immigration and uh, uh, try to get the votes from the Hispanics and
the African Americans, and we invite for every one of you to be at the St. Paul Baptist Church in Allen Avenue. Please come and visit with us. We expect everybody over there. We are all brothers with the majority now, remember. All right, folks, we're ready to vote, and we've got Tim Smith, uh, who's going to assist with the announcement of those votes. Starting on my right, your left, please. Excuse me, Mr. Chair, I'd like to make this clear. For what purposes, gentlemen, Rods? I just want to make a follow up with uh, my comments on my withdrawal from the uh, race that uh, at the second round of voting. Uh, I would like to encourage those people who supported me. Uh, I want to thank those people. Uh, I would like to endorse Aisha Do as a best candidate to go for my time. Thank you. The voting will now begin. Please. Precinct number 
Slow down, please. Slow down. 52 is too deep. That is correct. Thank you so much. 43, 2, 3. 54, deep.
Precinct 93, D1, do two. One over four. I you should do two votes. Precinct 103, do four votes. Precinct 82, two for D, two for do. Precinct 105, five for Aisha Du, one for Frank D. Precinct 106, D, one. Precinct 108, Aisha Du, three. Precinct 109, Frank D, three. Precinct 126, do five. Precinct 111, five Frank Beatons. Precinct 134, Aisha do five votes. Precinct 113, 113, four D. One, two. Precinct 138, four, Aisha Du. Precinct 115, Frank Deaton, five. Precinct 140, Aisha do one vote, Frank Deaton one vote. All right. Precinct 121, Aisha do six votes. Precinct 202, Aisha do six. Precinct 123, our calculators need to back up. It's two, one. All right, back to the two hundreds. Two oh six, four for Aisha Du. Precinct one twenty seven, three for Aisha Du, five for D. Precinct 147, Aisha Du, one vote. Precinct 214, D, five, Du, two. Precinct 145, three for D, two for Du. That was 145, three yes. D, one Du. Du, three D. Precinct 149, Aisha do three votes. All right, 222, 222, Aisha do one vote. Precinct 201, three votes, Aisha do. 203, Frank Lee, 19 votes. Precinct 211, Aisha Du, 4. Precinct 213, Frank Lee, 2. Precinct 225, one vote, Eden. Precinct 232, D, 2. Precinct 128, 128, 128, 6 for D. 
Thank you. 